Hey guys, as you can see from the title of the video, I am going to be doing another Dr. Sebi inspired type of video, giving you a lot of recipes. I get asked on a daily basis for um, more recipe ideas, more ways on how to use the electric food list. So I have listened to the requests and I put this video together. I have mentioned before in the past that I personally do not follow the electric food list. Um, I have mentioned also that I incorporate everything that is on the list plus i eat a lot of other things that are not on the list i am more of a seasonal eater i eat with the seasons um and that's just how i do things a lot of the recipes that you guys are about to see have been um, adapted from my ebook i have just electrified them and made them electric food list friendly so in this video i do use some bread and i do use some pasta and i just wanted to mention that just be mindful of these foods, even if they are spelt, even if they are on the electric list, just be mindful of any type of processed food. You know, once in a while it's fine, but um, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. So let's get straight into the video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's go. So lunch idea number one is a spelt grain salad um, with a tahini and ginger dressing. This is a perfect way to use spelt in its natural form. So to make the tahini dressing, I added some tahini to a blender, followed by some lime juice, and then I added some cayenne pepper, and I grated some ginger with a handheld grater. I love my little handheld grater. Followed by some dried oregano and some water to blend it all, and then I just blended it until it was smooth. So for the salad, I put some olive oil on top of my kale in a big bowl. So then I threw in some red onions, some chopped cherry tomatoes, some um, chopped red peppers. Then I threw on some juicy raisins. So then I threw in the cook spelt grain and put the yummy tahini dressing on top. And then I gave it all a good mix, gave it all a good mix together and it is that simple. Electric lunch idea number two is a Brazil nut and kale pesto with roasted butternut squash. To make the roasted butternut squash, I took my squash and I peeled it and then chopped it into cubes and then I poured a little bit of grapeseed oil on top followed by some thyme which I only had a tiny little bit of so I um, used some sage which worked so well actually um, and then added a little bit of sea salt so next I laid the butternut squash flat on a large baking tray. I put the squash into the oven for about 30 minutes until golden and until the butternut squash was tasting sweet and delicious. So for the Brazil nut and kale pesto, I added some fresh kale to a food processor followed by some parsley and some lime juice and some onion powder, which wow, I am so surprised at how well this worked followed by some salt and some um, Brazil nuts. And then I blended it all together and just made this vibrant, delicious pesto, which is a different texture to pesto that I'm used to, but it was just as delicious. So I mixed the pesto in with some cooked quinoa and, and then just mixed in the butternut squash also and served it with a bit of watercress and salad and a bit of avocado. So for electric lunch number three, oh, it is just the best, easiest, crunchy hummus to make. You don't need any equipment. So what I did was I put my warm chickpeas into a bowl, followed by some tahini, some lime juice, then some dulse and some oregano, and then just mashed it with a fork. Um, you still want to keep the texture. Well, I prefer to keep the texture. And then pour in some red onions, um, some chopped red pepper, um, some cherry tomatoes and some fresh coriander and then um, swirl on some olive oil and give it all a good mix together. So this recipe doesn't have to be um, used as a sandwich filling, it could literally just be like a little side salad on your plate. So I use this sourdough spelt bread which I found in Whole Foods um, and then I put my sandwich filling on top. To be honest guys, the bread was a little bit dry so I decided to toast it and, um, and put on some more olive oil. The bread was a little too thirsty for me, it was just a bit dry and needed some moisture and it was even more delicious that way. <laughs> For electric meal lunch idea number four, oh, these squash falafels. 
these are so good so so good so to begin with you want to steam your squash um, I use butternut squash again but you can use any type of rich sweet squash that you have so place your cooked chickpeas in a food processor followed by some cayenne some fresh coriander and parsley some dried herbs some onion powder um, your soft steamed butternut squash and some chickpea flour so only process very slightly. You wanna keep the texture for the falafels to hold. So then I went ahead and I laid some parchment paper on a flat baking tray and I scooped out the mixture using this amazing um, scooper that I found in a little kitchen shop and I thought it would be perfect um, for these little falafel bites. So then I placed the falafels in a hot oven of about 200 degrees Celsius for around 30 minutes until golden. So for the tahini dressing for the falafels, I added some tahini, some cayenne, some dill, some lime juice, um, some salt, some more dried herbs. So then I just used a fork and whisked it all together until smooth. So I serve the squash falafels with a little quinoa salad that I had. And when you're ready, when you're ready to eat, you can just pour on that tahini dressing. So electric lunch idea number five is a walnut pesto um, and I made it with spelt pasta. For the walnut pesto, you're gonna add a large helping of basil followed by some avocado and some sea salt and some lime juice and some walnuts, which is just gonna give it the most amazing taste ever. You can put your spelt pasta on to boil and then once it is cooked, you wanna give it a rinse because you want it to be cooled down before you mix in the pesto. Add your pasta to a bowl followed by the walnut pesto and I just chopped up some black olives, some kalamata olives and mixed in some cherry tomatoes and a little bit of watercress. This is totally optional. Um, just work with what you got. And then, then I put it in my lunchbox. So that was my last electric lunch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, share the video and comment if you have anything to say and I will see you in the next one.